Good morning, please excuse my bed head and probably fairly sleepy face. It is currently almost 8.30 and I thought I would vlog today. I've got a fairly busy day planned. I don't know how interesting it will be because a lot of it is things that I can't really film. But this morning I've got my internship half eight till 12 and that's from home so I don't need to go out or anything to do that. I'm about to go grab some breakfast to eat while I work. Um, I've just got a few bits and bobs to go over this morning for work so gonna do that until 12 and then at 1.45 I've got a driving lesson which I'm really 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 nervous about. Um, I wanted to kind of document a few of my driving lessons as I go mainly well I think as a way that I can hopefully look back and see that I've improved but also I thought maybe if any of you guys haven't started driving lessons yet and you're really like nervous about it and you kind of want to know roughly what might happen in each lesson I thought if I vlog a few of my different experiences as I go it might be helpful to some of you guys so I've got my third ever driving lesson today it's actually only the second lesson that I will have driven in because my first lesson we didn't do any actual driving um, so I had my first lesson yesterday yesterday and it was it was scary but not as scary as I thought it would be mainly because we stayed in a car park and there wasn't many cars there so I didn't really have to worry about crashing into much so we just kind of went in laps in the car park and practiced steering and we got onto gear changing near the end of the lesson I didn't like gear changing very much I was getting really angry at myself I think mainly because the car park's quite small and I had to speed up in order to change to second gear and then really quickly do like go back down to first gear and like a space of not very far so then I could be in first gear to go around the corners so I was getting really frustrated at myself because I just couldn't do it so I think we're going to go over that again today and then also he said he's going to put me on the road which I'm just so scared about. I really, really, really don't want to go on the road, but I know at some point I'm going to have to and I'm learning to drive, so I'm going to be driving on a road, so it makes sense. And I know that a lot of people start like their first lesson, they're just driving on a road, which I think is mental. I personally don't think I would be able to do that without having a breakdown. <laughs> I'm already so scared, just because I just don't like the idea of there being other cars and like being in control of a car, and it's just is scary and I'm really really nervous about it so I'll keep you updated on that after I get back from that lesson and I'll tell you what I got up to hopefully no crashes or anything like that and then this evening I've actually got plans to go to the beach one of my friends has got beach hut and she's hosting like a little post-graduation party celebration type thing so I will take you guys along with me to that as well but yeah that is my plan for today I'm gonna go grab some breakfast I think I'm gonna have some granola and then I'm gonna start on my work <laughs> I am done with work for the day. The best thing about working from home is I can literally do this as soon as I finish and I don't have to get on trains and buses and public transport or walk anywhere. I'm literally home and it is great. So happy that I finished that. I'm actually really hungry. I think I'm gonna go get lunch now, even though it's fairly early. Not in the best of moods, if I'm completely honest. I had a job interview yesterday and I got an email today saying that I was unsuccessful, which is a bit of a bummer. Like, I wasn't expecting to get the job, but I'm annoyed that I haven't got the job because that means I have to keep looking for a job, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not sad that I haven't got this particular job. I'm just sad that I'm still in the same situation that I was before, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it's it is quite a long story that I think at some point in the future I will do a video on because if you have watched any of my videos you will see that I'm currently doing that internship I mean I've spoken about it in this video, I'm still doing it but there's stuff going on with that so at some point I think I'll do a whole video on my internship experience like completely because the video that I've posted um, already a few weeks ago isn't quite accurate anymore, isn't very up to date but basically bit gutted because I didn't get that job but it's all good it's fine everything happens for a reason something else better I'm sure will come I'm also feeling really really nervous about my driving lesson now I'm just dreading it and I didn't want that to be the case I didn't want to be dreading every single lesson and I'm just hoping that that's like it's just going to be this lesson and then maybe once I've been on the road it won't be as scary and I won't dread it as much or I'll be absolutely awful today and I'll like crash the car and I'll never want to get on the road again <laughs> 
we will see. I don't know, for now I'm gonna go make myself some food because I am feeling very hungry. I've decided I'm gonna make some beans on toast for lunch because really nothing is more comforting than beans on toast. And we've got tiger bread, which is literally my favorite bread in the whole world. So that's what I'm gonna be having. Also have cheese, so it's gonna be cheesy beans on toast, which is amazing. And I'm gonna put Marmite on my toast, which if you like Marmite is something I really recommend doing. I have been judged horrifically for doing that in the past by my friends because they think it's really weird. But honestly, it's amazing. I think I was watching Selena's videos and she actually mixes like Marmite in with her beans. And I was shocked that someone else had Marmite and beans on toast because it's such a good combination and more people need to know about it. So if you like Marmite and you like beans on toast, I definitely recommend. I am so excited to eat this. So I've decided to put on a little bit of makeup before my driving lesson, which sounds a bit odd because I don't really wear makeup that often anyway, let alone putting the effort in for a driving lesson. Like I do not care what I look like for a driving lesson at all. But basically this reason's gonna sound really stupid, but my skin gets red really quickly. Like if I'm hot, if I'm flustered, if I'm embarrassed, if I just walk three meters, my face is like bright red. And I'm very conscious of the fact of being flustered while driving and I don't want my face to go bright red and my instructor to be able to tell if that makes any sense. I know it sounds stupid but yesterday during my lesson I had makeup on and I could tell that if I wasn't wearing makeup my skin would be like beetroot red. And not because I'm embarrassed or anything like that but just because my skin gets red so quickly and I don't want him to see it and be like oh god like she's very red like... I don't know, I think I'm I'm definitely overthinking it, but I've got a spare a few minutes because my instructor has pushed back my lesson a little bit, so I thought just to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable driving, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on to try and cover up the fact when I'm like dying inside and flustered in the car. Hopefully he won't be able to tell us easy. I am now completely ready to go. I've got my little driving booklet thingy. Oh, I feel really, really nervous. I've got such bad butterflies. <laughs> But I will check in with you guys when I'm back and hopefully it will have been a good lesson and I'll be feeling positive and not like I never want to drive again. But we will see. I am now back from my lesson. Please excuse my face. I have cried. <laughs> Thankfully not during the driving lesson. Like, thank God. Um, I've been back probably about half an hour and I don't even know why I cried because it wasn't that bad. But I think I just felt really overwhelmed and stressed by the whole situation that my body's response was just to have a bit of a cry. <laughs> so my lesson was, I guess from that, wasn't good, but it was okay. We went round the car park again for a few times, just practicing gears and that was fine. I really like going around the car park because I'm at six miles per hour and that's perfectly fast enough for me. Um, and then we went to do stuff on the road, which is the bit that I was really dreading. So we chatted for a while, quite a while, while we were parked up on like safety stuff and all that thing. I was like trying to prolong that bit for as long as possible because I just didn't want to do the driving because it was like a really, really busy road. And obviously it's not like a main road, but it was a busy road. There were parked cars all the way up. There were like shops and lots of people and lots of cars and traffic. So... I don't think that that's a very nice road to put someone on for the first time driving on a road ever. I would have thought they could find a slightly emptier space for a learner driver because like that was just, it was too much for me in the level that I'm at and I just, it was just too much. So I had to do this road and he, I asked if it was straight and he said it was straight. So I was like, okay, is it like a long straight road? So that's kind of what I had in my head. I was like, it's fine, it's long and straight. I couldn't see that far ahead because of like lots of parked cars and I think we were kind of like on a hill a little bit. So I started and it was kind of okay. It was a bit annoying because I had to keep like pulling up behind cars and then pulling away again because of like, it was a narrow road. And I didn't like that. I had no practice doing that. So it was just like first time pulling up and like going again. And then the main bit that I was all for that was keeping to the right side of the road. As in I kept veering towards the parked cars. I think because I'm so used to sitting like in the left side of the car 
that I'm not used to viewing things from the driver's seat and I felt like I was really far over to the right and like almost in the other lane but in reality I was almost crashing into parked cars so that definitely wasn't good I managed to get my speed up and that was fine I did gears fine I actually quite like I don't mind gears I don't think that that's too awful but then we were getting to the end of this straight road and I was like what am I doing here because he told me it was a straight road and he was like you need to follow the road round which was a, a massive turn up a big hill and I was just like what like I was like you didn't tell me this and I think that was the worst bit is that I just wasn't expecting it which just completely threw me off and meant for the rest of the whole driving thing I was so on edge that like I didn't know what was going on because it was just not how I'd expected it to be like when I've imagined going on the road for the first time I've imagined like a fairly empty road a very long straight road with not many parked cars or anything like that and this was like all over the place like turns I had to go around a roundabout um, like really big hills I know like in the grand scheme of things this probably wasn't a bad route for most drivers but for, like driving on the road for the first time ever it just wasn't a nice nice experience at all and then what else was there oh yeah I had to do like zebra crossings it was awful of that didn't stop for people so whoopsie sorry whoever was trying to cross the road because I just went straight over and then I had to pull into a car park which I just also wasn't expecting like none of it was I, I, ha I wasn't mentally prepared for any of it so I pulled into the car park but like and it was like the first time doing indicators and checking mirrors and doing that sort of thing so like it was a lot of stuff to take in and then also do all the clutch and everything turned into the car park that was fine I was about ready to have a breakdown at that point but then I had to go all the way back so I had to leave the car park which is obviously like a junction which was just like I I was getting really stressed because I kept missing the opportunity to go and he was like you need to go now you need to go and then I wasn't quick enough leaving and then I wasn't quick enough and then I stalled and then he said something about there being people in the car behind me that were going to get annoyed if I didn't go which I hadn't even realised like I was so focused on driving and doing everything that I didn't think about people behind me which obviously then stressed me out more so then eventually got out got back and then had to turn back into the car park that we were practicing in and like I stopped there as well and then once we were parked in the car park I was just like oh my goodness I never want to drive again <laughs> because it just it was a lot to take in at once I think and I think it was just because I wasn't expecting it I think if I'd gone into it knowing that that was going to be the road and like had experience of that particular road like being a passenger in the car I would have felt a lot less like overwhelmed by everything but yeah I didn't enjoy it and I said that afterwards I was like yeah I don't enjoy that at all like that's just driving I don't think is gonna be my thing and he was like do you even want to learn to drive and I'm like great if my instructor saying that like great like excellent I'm so happy that even my instructor is questioning me wanting to drive so yeah I was hoping I was gonna have a more positive thing to say on here but that was my driving lesson, that was my honest experience of my driving lesson, I hope any of you guys learning, uh, I hope your lessons are going more positively, I mean like in the grand scheme of things it wasn't bad, like for my first time driving on a road, like I did absolutely fine and I know I did fine, like I steered fine, I did the gears, stopped everything, it was all fine, I just think, I don't even know why I cried, I think I was just too overwhelmed by everything and shocked by it. That it was just a bit much if any of you guys that can drive can leave me advice in a comment please do that or if any of you guys are learning to drive leave that like anything you've learned in a comment as well or if anyone's had like something really bad go wrong in a lesson maybe leave that in a comment too and that will make me feel a little bit better maybe <laughs> so yeah that's the current situation it's now half four i am just gonna relax for like well, i don't even have that long now i'm gonna relax for probably an hour chill maybe eat something and then I'm going to get ready to go out this evening because I'm going to walk down to the beach and I think it's like a 40 minute walk. So I need to leave fairly early for that. But yeah, that's the plan. Also, on a more positive note, I got feedback from my interview yesterday that I didn't get the job from. And the feedback is like really, really positive, which is nice because I had felt that the interview had gone fairly well. So then it was, I, you know, it's nice to know how you can improve and things. But they were basically like you would benefit from a more challenging role and that that was the reason I didn't get it. it wasn't anything to do with me personally they said I did really well in the interview but that the particular job wasn't for me because I might find it a little bit boring so that's a positive like that's really nice feedback and I'm happy that I asked for feedback so yeah that's that's my day so far I was hoping that this video would be a little bit less miserable but 
that's the situation. Hopefully it gets more exciting when I go to the beach. I've been talking for a very long time. I need to sort my face out and I also need some food because something about driving makes me starving. <laughs> Got myself a cup of tea and some Buja Buja chocolates because I feel like tea and chocolate fixes most things. <laughs> also, these chocolates are literally so good. They are my favorite things ever. <laughs> I have made it to the beach. I'm wearing this little top from Primark that I wear all the time. It is actually such a nice evening this evening. I reckon it's gonna be a really, really good sunset. But yeah, had a bagel for dinner because I didn't have any time to do anything else. I ended up getting distracted and lying in bed. But I'm very excited for this evening. Hopefully it makes up for my kind of crappy day. <laughs> this video and I realized that I forgot to end it once again I feel like I'm gonna get into the habit of that but I had such a lovely time on the beach we were just chatting and it was just it was so chilled and lovely we chilled in the beach hut we had some bubbly to celebrate and it was just a really nice evening it definitely made up for my kind of like slightly crappier day I mean it wasn't that bad I feel like it was a fairly balanced day to be honest so thank you so much for watching this video if you like videos like this like just regular everyday vlogs please let me know in a comment and i'll do more of them and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye